You're looking at so many videos on dopamine detoxing, hitting the gym, getting a morning routine, getting a better sleep routine, and overall getting your life together. However you try it, however it seems too hard, you don't stay consistent, is it really, really true that you can get your life together this way? You know, not too long ago, this was myself, but to the extreme. I would literally wake up at 12 p.m. every single day, eat junk food, play video games all day, fap, three, four, five times a day, go to sleep at one or two or three a.m. And I would literally feel like bad, like and my head would hurt at times and I wouldn't do anything about it. And oftentimes I would try to like, you know, make some better decisions, go to sleep earlier, brush my teeth, actually get like a good night routine as well as a morning routine. However, I can never stay consistent now and I, and I literally came to the conclusion and most people will come to the conclusion that it's simply unrealistic to do this and that most people don't do this and that it's unrealistic to have such a good morning routine and be so consistent because motivation is not always there, right? Wrong. Motivation, of course, will not always be there. However, that is what discipline is. This is what it is. It's discipline. Doing the hard work, especially when, when one does not feel like it. And I'm here to tell you that two weeks is all you need to change your life. And before I start getting judged by all these people saying, but like, oh, but it's not that easy. Some people just don't have time. They have a job and then school and they have studies and then it's unrealistic for them. So, so we have to stay losers. And it's so stupid to me when people come, come with this excuse because like, why are you defending the thing that's keeping you weak? Like, why are you defending like that, which is you want to change? Like, why? Like, even if it was true. Which is not because anyone, it's just, it, you do have the time, it's just that you don't use it properly. But even if it was, why are you being so negative about it? So before you get judged by those people that like to stay losers and use this as an excuse to not get their life together and actually do the work. Let me tell you that I myself, I did this while I was studying, while I had a job, while I had just gotten a job actually, and I actually had just started on a side hustle as well. I did a lot of things to change my life and it started with two weeks like I just said and yes I understand it is okay if you're busy and it is okay if you don't have too much time but just look at your phone screen time look at the amount of time you spend every single day just scrolling on Instagram you don't realize and you don't and you don't realize the amount of time that you actually spend here and even if it's just one or two hours a day imagine you actually use this one hour because this one hour could make a big difference if you were to actually invest it and use it to change your life. You think that, oh, I don't have time, but look at it. It's right there. Even if you just start with 20 minutes a day. As long as you stay consistent for two weeks, this will set yourself up to, to continuously get your, get your shit together over the long run. And yes, just like I said, it is okay if you're busy. However, this is uh, this is what it is about, and understand, and I understand that you 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 worked your job all day, or you just came back from a long day of school. However, this is this is the whole point of it: the lane gratification. The lane gratification is sacrificing the small pleasure that you can have right now for a much better and more rewarding tomorrow. Because it is it is all about the lane gratification. The more gratification that you delay, the more that you sacrifice, the better life that you will have tomorrow. Your future self will have tomorrow. And it, it, it blows my mind, it absolutely blows my mind to think that even the, so that some people do have all of the time in the world and even that you, and I'm, I'm speaking to like the ones that don't, that don't even work a job, they don't have school, like their, their parents do everything for them and then they're like, oh, but I have so much time but nothing to do or, or I don't have the time even though they didn't, they don't do shit. Like, how are you going to tell me that it's so hard for you whenever these people in third world countries I got their house blown to pieces and they're still working every single day, improving themselves. No excuses. Because this is all the, that this is about. Delaying gratification. Like, yes, it's about getting home from work. And even though you've been, you, you've had a long day at work and you, you're kind of stressed and you're tired, you still do it. And you don't feel like putting in the work, you still do it. And you have the option to, you know, relax because, or relax because you're going to watch TV. And this is not relaxing. Even though you have the option to do that, to play video games, to eat junk food, you still decide to put in that extra step, that extra work. 
even though you're tired because this is what discipline is and trust me that when you do this you will be so grateful whenever you see the results of your hard work that you and you will be so grateful that you put in the work whenever you retire because this is all that this is putting in that work especially when you do not feel like it this is what discipline is it is not super extremely complicated it is not hard to stick to a routine a morning routine Whenever I wasn't able to do this, whenever so many people try these morning routines and getting their life together in two weeks, if they don't do it, it is not because it's too hard or anything. It's because they don't have the discipline because they're afraid to sacrifice these things. They're not willing to sacrifice these things. They're not willing to work whenever they're hard. It is all about choosing the harder path. Two weeks is all that it takes to change your life. And what I ask you to do... And speaking to you, a young man that actually resonates with this message is actually serious about changing his life. This is what you're going to do. You're going to gratitude journal every single day. Write down things that you're grateful for. Like actually write it down in a notebook every single day. Write a few things I'm grateful for and literally write it down like I am grateful for. Don't just say, oh, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. Actually genuinely write it down and write down why you're grateful for that. If you can, trust me, you will feel so much better. You're going to read, read, literally just read 10 pages of a book per day. And trust me that you will gain a lot of knowledge from this because people don't realize the amount of answers that there is to their problems in books. And you don't even have to read a lot. It's just 10 pages per day, bro. They're like it literally just takes 20 minutes max, 20, 30 minutes if you're a slow reader. You're going to work out. This working out is one that I don't recommend that you do every single day. Especially if you're just starting to work out, but do some form of, of activity. And do at least three or four sessions of actual uh, genuine workout for those 14 weeks, for those 14 days. And finally, meditate as well as get more sunlight. As soon as you wake up, get sunlight. And I mean actually walk out and get sunlight into your face, into your eyes. I like don't directly look at the sun, but you know what I mean. Trust me that your mood will improve by a lot. And also meditate every single day. Literally just one, two, three minutes a day. And this will genuinely improve your mental health as well as your ability to focus on the present moment. And trust me that just in two weeks you will see such a great, a great like big jump in, in progress in your, in your mental health and your focus and everything. Because like I said, it's all about delaying gratification. Do not allow this video to be simple, quick motivation. Because most people, they'll get motivated watching this video, they'll get all psyched up, and then they'll change absolutely nothing. Don't see this as that. Because maybe you, a young man that resonates with this message, and is tired of being and of being influenced by those weak people that like to say, say that like to stay weak, and they're like, oh no, no, no I, uh, it's fine because uh, I work a 9 to 5 and I don't have the time, and, and uh, it's fine if I stay fat because fat people are beautiful. I'm speaking to you, a young man that resonates with this message and is tired of being a weak little bitch. Because like I said, most people will see this, they'll get kind of motivated and they'll change the, absolutely nothing. Don't see this as motivation. See this as an, as an actual mentality that doesn't rely on your emotions if it is executed or not. Because if you just rely on motivation, motivation is not always going to be there. So you're never going to stay consistent because consistency is key. See, this is a mindset that I'm going to do it no matter what. My emotions are relevant. If I'm sad, happy, depressed, anything, I'm still going to do it. Even if I'm tired, I'm still going to do it. Because it is a must. Make it a must. Because this is how you get shit done. It just takes two weeks. Because this is not a motivation or anything like that. This is a mindset that you must adapt to actually grow and improve in life. Don't allow yourself to be influenced by those weak people that like to say that it's unrealistic and that all of this is all just BS, it's just appearances. Because it is not. Do it for your future self.